Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 30-2, Chapter 1, Section 4, Applications of Set Theory. <coughs> Sorry. Two circle and three circle Venn diagrams. Now, trick here, remember, A upside down U of B is the intersection of A and B. In the fifth circle diagram, and you can have four, but I'm sticking just for you to. This is the intersection of A and B. This is the intersection of A and B and C. Note they're different. Overlapping. Kind of stuff. Three times. So that gets confusing. Now, I want you guys to shade in the union of A and B. Now, did I say that correctly? Is that A and B? Oh, that should be A or B, my bad. The union of A or B. In the good old days, that might be A and or, but we don't use that term anymore. So, which one of this is A and B? Well, take a good look at it. That's everything with A. And everything with B. Basically everything with an A or B in it. Okay? Now, A U C minus B. Okay. This is me. C minus B. So we get rid of everything with a B in it. And we're down to this. B and B and B. Okay? Now, here's an example I need you guys to work on. I want you to draw a Venn diagram to represent the relationship between the sets X. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, Y, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and Z, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Now, this is a small one, so I can pick everything. So, this is X, this is Y, this is Z, no, it's not true. Now, pause the recording, put the numbers in, come back and compare. When I do this, and I'm hoping you pause and check and now you're comparing answers. X and Y both have one. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you look at the number 2, that shows up in X only. The number 3 shows up in Y and Z. The number 4 shows up in Y only. 5 shows up in X, Y, and Z, so it's right in the middle here. 6 shows up in X, Y, and Z. 7 shows up in X and Z only. 8 shows up in Y and Z, which is down here. 9 shows up in X only. And 10 shows up in Z only. All right? So I think I got it right. Let me start to hope I have it right. That good? Now, everybody take a deep breath. So here takes a left hand and an ugly look. This is the equation we're supposed to use. This is the union of A and B and C. It is A only plus B only plus C only minus the intersection of A and B, minus the intersection of A and C, minus the intersection of B and C plus the intersection of A and B and C. Uh, now, no, I'm not going to make a huge point. That's just wrong. 
At this point, I have the guidance that I have to show you this one, I'm showing it to you. This plugin is called the Principle of Inclusion and Exclusion. It will allow you to determine the number of elements in the union of two sets. Now, the best way to remember this formula is to figure out how to add up the pieces. And notice what we've done is we've taken a circle, two Venn diagrams, and one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven pieces. We're figuring out what each piece is worth. Now, let's just do an example that'll be easy. So, or easier. In the grade 12 math class, 25 students have a tablet, iPhone, or cell phone. So, 15 students have a tablet, 14 students have an iPhone, 13 students have a cell phone. Five students have a tablet and an iPhone, four students have a tablet and a cell phone, and two students have an iPhone and a cell phone. Okay, so the question is, how many students have all three devices, and how many students have only one device? Now, like I said, I'm showing you how this formula goes. Relax. If you don't like it, you can just fill in the Venn diagram and I'll find you that. But I have to show you the formula. So, step one, define the sets. Step two, draw the Venn diagram. Step three, write out the principle of inclusion exclusion formula. Step four, substitute any numbers you know. Step five, anything you don't know, put as X. Step six, solve for X. So, right. first things first, define your sets. What do you know? D, students who have electronic devices. I, students who have iPhones. T, students who have a tablet. And C, students who have a cell phone. Right? So, draw the Venn diagram. Let me just see. Okay, here we go. 15 students have a tablet. 14 students have an iPhone. 15 students have a cell phone. 5 students have a tablet and iPhone. 4 students have a tablet and a cell phone. Two students have an iPhone and a cell phone. I'm repeating myself again. So tablet. Write out the formula of inclusion and exclusion. So, there's the formula. It's the number of everything equals numbers of iPhones only, plus number of tablets, plus number of iPhones, plus number of tablets, plus number of cell phones, minus number of tablets and cell phones, minus iPhones and cell phones, minus iPhones and tablets, plus number of all three. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so we don't know x, all three. Okay, now, start plugging in the numbers. And I'm going to pause before you see if I can know I'm um, running out of time. We'll stop here. We'll look at this. And once you've got this down, we'll continue with the next uh, part. All right, good luck.